close your eyes and watch your breath. See if you can stay rooted in the breath. Don't let any thoughts or anything else push you away from the breath. We live in a world of change. The winds of change are always there. There's aging, illness, and death, and then there's gain, loss, status, loss of status, criticism, praise, pleasure, pain. These things blow in from all sorts of directions. And if your mind gets blown around by them, you have no idea what kind of life you're going to have. It becomes life at the mercy of the winds. But when you know that something's good, you want to stay rooted there. So try to train the mind so it can stay rooted in one object. That way when the winds of change come, loss comes, gain comes, you don't get blown apart. We don't like loss, but we like the gain, but the gain can be bad for us too. We can start getting complacent, we can start getting careless. The same with status. There's a cartoon in The New Yorker where one congressman is saying to another, what use is power if you can't abuse it? What happens to a lot of people? They gain status and then they abuse the status. That's what they think it's for. And then it works to their detriment. And same with praise. Praise makes you complacent. So even the good things of life are things that can blow you around to your detriment. And of course the bad things are things we don't like to have come at all, but we shouldn't let ourselves get blown around by them. Learn to see their good side as well. When you suffer loss, when you lose your status, that's when you really know who your friends are. When you hear criticism, you can ask yourself, is this criticism true? Maybe you've learned something about yourself that you wouldn't otherwise see. And if it's not true, then you've learned something about the person who criticizes you. Either way, that's good knowledge that you wouldn't get if you're just su subject to praise all the time. I've encountered people like that who've been praised ever since they were little children because of their status, their parents' status. And they grow up and they're really unsure of themselves. With all that praise all the time, who knows what's right, who knows what's wrong. So the good and bad things of life have their both good and bad signs. And if we're not blown around by them, then we can learn from them well. So this is the place where you settle in and put down roots. The image and the canon is of a stone pillar rooted in the rooted in the rock. Half of it's buried under the rock, half of it is exposed to the surface. The winds can come from the eight directions, but they don't blow it around. That's the mind you need to have if you're going to live in this world and not get destroyed by the world, not get harmed by the world. You've got to be firm in what's good. And as the winds blow, well, let them blow something else, but don't let them blow your goodness away.